You there, halt! Don't let me catch you making trouble again. Good day. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here. Well, if you're fond of a good story, lend me your ear. I won't disappoint. I'll try to keep it short, even though I've got all the time in the world for embellishment. What did I do? Nothing. I just happened to bear the name Darkvari, a crime and upper tier in these trying times. The mayor's blade seized me at the gates of Edessa. Here's the trick of it. I was leaving home, slipping free of my familial bondage. I'm no thug. I am guilty of but one crime only. Stealing a girl's heart. Her name is Hrindi Zungar, and at this very moment she waits for me with no word of my whereabouts. Please, stranger, will you help me? She is the sun that comes to warm me every morning. We met a short time ago, mere weeks, but true love has no memory of time. Yes, Zungars and Darkvari aren't exactly kin. In fact, they're sworn enemies and rivals. Imagine how powerful they'd be if they shared blood instead of spilled it. I knew I liked you. From the moment I laid eyes on you through these enormous iron bars. Getting the key won't be easy. Bjorn, the head of their mercenaries, carries it on his person. I wouldn't want to be the one who has to rifle through his pockets. Over here. Ah, look what the dust brought in. Stand right there. Let me take a look at you. Filthy, weary, lonely, but special, that's for certain. We don't see folks like you in Whitestone very often. I'm Mayor Eswin Elfhelm, and I'm the closest thing to a friend you've got around here. Some call it war. I call it survival. The modest mining interest left an empty throne when it abandoned that potier, and now everyone wants that power. The people here. The decent, honest, hard-working people of Apotir have been through enough. Starvation, humiliation. They needed a leader, one who cares. My goals are simple. To stop the warring in Whitestone, and to rescue it from the brink of extinction. 
then you, you can help me. What do you say, partners? There's a man named Adath Scoria, patriarch of the most prominent mining family in Apotir. Months ago, I bought his family mine. It wasn't cheap. Now Adath refuses to surrender the property. In fact, he's gone into hiding and won't meet with me. I need you to acquire what is legally mine. The deed to his claim. Modus Manning stored all the records in its old headquarters east of the village. But the building has long since been overrun. Get that deed, and we're in business. Hey. Well, I seem to have attracted a guest. What can I help you with? Hmm? Oh, that would be the squeaky little gnome from Odessa. Smelled like vellum and book paste, as I recall. I was hired to take the note from him. Sure as rain. A gnomish scholar named Arancourt hired me to take it and throw it in the quarry. That's where you can find that letter if you're looking. And I can even give you Aaron Court's orders as proof, if you pay the right price. I suppose you're right. If you care so much about the little rag, I can part ways with it. Now don't say I didn't give you anything. Good. Tinker out here. Looks like you're used to dust on your feet. Willing to help an old tinker collecting some iron? Make my trade as a tinker. Fixing pots and spades and shovels for common folk. But with the war on, iron's been scarce. I'm too old to go around scrounging for bits and scraps. If you find any iron components on your travels, I'll pay well for them. Well, that's good. Iron isn't exactly like gold. It should be pretty commonplace if you look. Or even some time at Briente's forge might help. But I'm a tinker, mind you, not a smith. I can't work with finished pieces. I need iron components. Music to my ears. Hand it over and I'll pay you well for it. Farewell. Back off. Welcome to the Thirsty Wench. I'm Bera Grastar, owner, innkeep, and namesake. We don't get many strangers in Whitestone, at least not since motors pulled out and the mercenaries dug in. What can I get you? Don't tell anyone, but I've run out of meat to serve the customers. If these louts find out, they're liable to start a riot. Do you have any meat with you? I'll pay you good money for it. Okay, I guess that's better than nothing. I don't care where you get it, as long as it smells like meat when I place it over the fire. Hurry up with some meat, or it'll be my bones they'll be eating. Yes? A lot of riches to be found in this world. If only you know how to look. I can train you to find them, should you wish. And with the Hierophant's blessing. Pretty <laughs> fine. A lot of riches to be found in this world. If only you know how to look, I can train you to find them, should you wish. And with the hero of pleasant findings. What? Are they giving you a hard time around here too? Whitestone, a boot full of vipers this place. Can't stand it. And after everything we've done for them down in Sun Camp, You'd think they'd be more appreciative. And starvation's too good for the mayor, I say. 
You don't look like one of Eswin's ruffians. No, you look different, which is a good thing in this sun-blasted nothing. All right, I'll tell you. Our friend the mayor has something stashed up in his house, something worth a fortune. Can you believe that? There's something of actual value in Whitestone. I've been sent to get it, but I can't seem to find a way in. Until inspiration strikes, I'm waiting here, keeping the ale busy. We're travelers by affiliation, but we specialize in fair exchange of goods and services. Not to say we won't steal, it's just not our stock and trade. You'll find us east of here, past the old Motus Mining Headquarters building, just shy of the seaside cliffs. You should stop by, it's quite a view. Silly question. Who doesn't hate the mayor? We travelers had a good thing going here in Whitestone. The people came to us for their needs. We had a relationship. Now Mayor Eswin says trading with travelers is illegal, and as a result, the folks of Apatir won't touch us. I'm surprised they even let me into town without a fight. You're welcome to give it a go, but I can't promise you'll get anywhere. That old mansion was built by the gnomes back when they first settled the village. It's got more hidden corners than a spider web. I doubt old Eswin's even seen all of it. I doubt the old mayor has either. Maybe I'll show some initiative eventually. Until then, you're welcome to make us both look good. Bye. Tinkerer here. What is it? Can't you see I'm celebrating? That's right. Raise your glass, friend. Let's make a toast to cowards. I've made a choice, you see. After much deliberation and many pines, I've decided to disobey my direct superiors and not perform my duties. To the fires with orders. I'm finished delivering death notices. I've seen the faces of the war dead. I've no desire to look into the eyes of their loved ones. I volunteer to be a messenger, to bring death notices from the War Council to the families of the deceased. I thought it would be welcome respite from the war, but it's been its own kind of hell. I got through some of them, but by the time I reached Apatir, I was done. You would do that. It would keep me from getting discharged. For I'm not going back. Here are the death notices. Take this medicine as well. I have my own right here. Ironic, isn't it? I can face the enemy, but I can't face the families of those who fought beside me. Pathetic. Your energy will not be spent in vain. I will pay you well to do this for me, but the road will be long and fraught with grief. Goodbye. What are you still doing in Whitestone? Tell them what you want. Won't change what has happened. The sons and daughters are gone. No one can soften that blow. Goodbye. Well done. Now, you've done me this one favor. Let's finish what we've started. Before I can leave this cursed desert, I need several things. First, I need to fetch the item that will finance our new life in Odessa, our nest egg. It is an heirloom that has been in the Darkvari family for generations. 
Then I need you to find Hrindi and bring her to me at our old meeting place in Snaketail Canyon. Please, you must do this for me. For us. Thank you.
Hello. You don't know me, but I've been following you. My name's Hrindi. That parchment you carry, it belongs to me, as Steg always meant it to be a wedding gift. Now, if you please, hand it over. Don't ever speak my name aloud. I hate hearing it. Zungar. It's the sound of retching, of a man's skull cracking beneath a blow. Every time I hear it, I cringe. Soon, I will have a new name to go with my new life. What about him? I've met hundreds of men more to my liking. Only, those men didn't have what Steg possesses. The Dark Vari map. Once I learned Steg had it, I knew I had to act. I was willing to do anything. Even married the idiot. That's right. The fabled treasure map of the Dark Vari family. With it, I can build a new life, shed my Zungar name, and start all over again. You heard it right. There's no love lost between the families of Darkvari and Zungar. But show me a close family in Apatir, and I'll show you a gnome with a conscience. Perhaps I did, but he won't be able to care for me. He can hardly care for himself. Look how easily he was captured. No, oh, but perhaps you're right. He doesn't deserve this, not from me. There are few gentle souls left in Apatir. I'd hate to kill the last. I'll face the world alone, then. I'll be on my way to Odessa soon enough. Couldn't have done it without you. The Zungar name cuts me like a dagger. I've never been able to escape its edge. All I've ever wanted is a chance to live a life without it. Steg's love almost changed that, but I could never allow someone to get close enough to hurt me. Not after what I've been through. He's a sweet boy, but young, and woefully misguided. One day he will understand, as I do, how cold the world can be. I'm doing him a favor by leaving. <sighs> There's no future for me here. I've known that since I first laid eyes on the endless mine that is my family's namesake. There's more out there than Apatir.
haven't laid eyes on Rindy, have you? She is bright, graceful, like an oasis on a summer's day. I was sure she would be here. She said the stars themselves wouldn't wait as long as she would. I've promised to rescue Hrindi from her family's life of corruption. She deserves more than a shack along the snake tail. She deserves sky blossom, whispers. I've been in this cage for weeks, but Hrindi will wait. We swore an oath to each other. I care not for stale poison. I doubt the Zungars and Darkvari even know why they're angry. It's an old hatred, old as the Red Stone. Hrindi and I want none of it. I am no one of consequence, something the guards in Whitestone fail to realize. However, if you ask my father, he'd take my side. I'm a complete disappointment. You mean Bone Town? Not my favorite place in the world, if you couldn't tell. If the heat doesn't kill you, the guards might. What do you mean she's gone? Was her fear too great? Did she choose to stay behind? I had a feeling this would happen. In the end, I couldn't make her happy. I knew it. Ever since we met, I've had a feeling that one so enchanted could never belong to one man. And what kind of man was I? All that time in the cage, I convinced myself of something that never really was. Your help, your friendship, was worth more than gold. Please, keep the parchment. It is a map drafted by my grandfather. It reveals the locations of all the Darkvari hordes in Apatir.
What do you want? I don't know you, and you don't look scorier, so you'd best be on your way. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy? If you're from the village, you can tell Mayor Eswin that I'm not interested in any other deals he may wish to offer. This discovery belongs to everyone, and it will not be used to further one man's agenda. Why, yes! I most certainly am! Fascinating. You seem to have stumbled upon the commonite all on your own. Well done, my friend! Well done! If I find enough samples of this incredible resource, it may just be enough to convince Motus to return. If they do, that means Apatir has a fighting chance. Carry on with your search. Goodbye.
be seeking help with some of our mercenary contracts but it looks like you've collected all of them already I'll leave you to your work then it's sad I think Sinric once had a heart for me until I lopped off two of his fingers you did the right thing here's your pay not bad the dark Bari aren't icy killers like the Zungar but they can handle their own as can you here's your pay so long. <laughs> Careful out there. Well done. I was worried the Zangar boys might give you a bit of trouble. I was right about you. I have an eye for promise, you know. Prospecting, as the locals would call it. I've noticed your weapons. I assume you know how to use them? It's a pity, but the only way to clean up Whitestone would be to get them dirty. We've received news that Adath Scoria might be hiding out with the Sinric family in their old Terenium quarry. Get down there and take a look. See what you can see.
looking at. Careful out there. Hey there. How can I help? I thought I could smell meat on you. Thanks a lot. You really helped me out. Come back any time, and I'll buy more meat off of you. Tinkerer here. Don't drink the river water. They say it's been foul. Hi there. Hi there. I've been following your progress. From a safe distance, of course. Can I have the document now? What will I give you? You're thinking like a traveler after all. Very good. Isn't that the way of Whitestone? Everyone has to get paid. So what do you want? It's not your concern. Acquiring it was the important thing. Now that it's safe, it needs to be given to the proper parties so it can be destroyed. Fine. That's something I can do. Gold is plentiful if you know where to steal it. Now hand over the paper. It wasn't my life plan to become a traveler, believe me. But sometimes necessity is the only star you follow. My parents were miners, and worked themselves to the bone to provide. When the Terenium dried up, so did they, you could say. I didn't want to leave Apatir, so I stayed. He's as corrupt as they come, but I shouldn't be one to speak, not with my associations. Still, it's one thing to say you're a crook, and another to pretend you're not. See you.
are you? What are you doing all the way down here? You'd think the Sinrix would be enough to keep anyone away. An agent of that snake Eswin, no doubt. You're not the first one he sent to scare me from my mine. I'll tell you what I've told the rest. That claim is Scoria property. You can kill me, but it won't matter. Politicians come and go, they follow the money. But a man protecting his land will never leave it. You tell him that. If you wish to do the right thing, and there is a right thing, meet me later. I'll be staying with allies in Whitestone. It's the last place Ezrin would look. Together you and I can save Apotia. I'm in hiding from Ezrin's hired swords, men and women like you. But I can see that you're a reasonable person. Do the right thing. Come see me again. Careful out there. Well, you wouldn't return unless you had something to tell me, am I right? Oh, I just laid it out for you, did he? Should have expected that. Well, let me put it this way. The days of the family mines are over. A new order has come to Apotir. The Darkvari, Sinrix, 
and the Zungars. I will deal with them in time. But the Scorius, they are different. They have the people's respect, and that is powerful. Listen to me carefully. If you walk away from this, from me, you will no longer be welcome in Whitestone. So tell me, friend, are we still partners? Do you have any choice? You just wait. Without me, without Whitestone, Apotir will continue to dry up like the husk it's become. But we can stop it. We organize all the claims under single ownership. Mine. And work with the gnomes to get the ore flowing again. Prosperity will return, and with it, the people. I had a feeling you'd stick around. Tough times call for tough choices. And you've got the guts to do what needs to be done. Here's what I want. The deed to Scoria Mine gives me ownership of all ore discovered inside its many shafts. The gnomes say it's run dry, but I don't believe it. Adath was hiding the truth. That vein is still active, and I need proof. Get inside Scoria and obtain a sample. It's not as easy as it sounds. You'll know what I mean when you get there. I'm reluctant to ask who you are. You see, we've had many visitors lately, and every one of them has meant us harm. I am Thelgood Scoria, and this is my mine. This mine is Scoria-owned and operated, and I'm not about to let some scraggly pit pony go as saying it. Besides, we've had to shut down operations on account of the beasties, not the ones outside. These are new. A few days ago, in the stoke, we stuck something. What came out of that hole was nothing like I'd seen. Killed most of my men. Now we can't go down there. And neither can you. So turn around and start walking. You know Adath? Well, you look like the kind of person he'd drag into the middle of this. Desperate. Well, it's your choice. Have a go. I'm not gonna bury you.
I'm impressed. No one else has returned since... Mm, well, let's just say you're the first back from the mines in a long time. sample and the deed to Scoria Mine. The gears are in motion. It's only a matter of time till all of Apotia falls under my control. One task remains, a task that I have put off for too long. I must kill Adath Scoria. There is only enough room on a throne for one king. Make it quick, make it painless. He of all people deserves as much. An obstacle in the way of progress. The old man still believes that Apatia could come back from its decline by force of will. Typical of a miner. Keeps digging away. There are four mining families. The Dagvari, the Sinrix, Zungars, and the Scorias. When the gnomes departed, so did the jobs. There was nothing for the miners left behind. Starvation, desperation, well, they change people. Most of the miners in Apotia kept their sanity, even when they lost everything else. But the others, they turned to banditry. The usual theft, kidnapping, murder. You'd best stick close to Whitestone. You're an easy target. Enough with the games. What does Espen want with me? and want with me. What has that snake told you? That I sold him Scoria Mine? I would never do such a thing. Just because he lives in the mayor's house doesn't mean he's a man of honor. Came here six months ago saying he was going to revitalize Whitestone. Ever since, my people have been captured or killed by his marauding hired swords. We have no leaders here. We are a family. I speak for the minders of Scoria only because I'm tired of the treatment and I care not if I live or die. To the fires with the Darkvari, the Sinriks, and the Zungars. They chose their paths as we did Scoria's. There is still such a thing as pride, as dignity.
you have any information about the Scoria fam? Don't kill me, please! Just a little white stone humor for you. Hmm. Maybe it's not for everybody. My name's Varric Dunbert, in my trade selling. We get a quirky collection of goods in town these days. You're welcome to it. See you soon. Tomorrow's gonna be over. One day I may regret Adith's death, but not this day. This is the first day in the future of Apotir. Thanks to you, there will be order again. Prosperity. Yes, not everyone could survive to see this day. But sacrifices needed to be made. They always do. Please, take this gold and this sword. It will protect you on your journey, wherever it may take you. You will always be welcome in Whitestone. Yes, what is it? We're not supposed to speak with the citizens. Joanne? You mean... my wife has died? I knew she sailed for Chlorocon, but we got so little news here in Apatir. I told her the war wouldn't last. I insisted. And as usual, I was wrong. My wife was beautiful. She deserved better. I only wish I could have given it to her. I only wish I could have been there for her in the end. Thank you for telling me.